Let's start with the first question about the economy. Vassal Kaima gross domestic product has grown by more than 50% over the last four years and is expected to close at an annual rate of over 15% over the next few years. What factors are fueling this massive growth? I think the first uh, factor of uh, who's uh, the reason for this growth is since the appointment of His Highness uh, Sheikh Saud bin Zakir al Qasim as Crown Prince and the future ruler of Ras al Khaimah, he is. Uh, he has decided to develop his Emirate and to do his best to attract investments and uh, uh, to create vehicles for the development of uh, Ras al Khaimah. And uh, he is the main uh, leading figure and the leader in the mm -hmm. motor of the development of Ras al Khaimah. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned that some of the most important pillars of the economy will be industry, real estate and tourism. Yes. Um, so how would you describe the percentage of GDP, what are the sectors uh, representing for? Well, uh, the, the industry is, uh, for me, is the most important subject in any economy. Uh, today, if you consider the industrialized countries, are the more, the, the, more the, the richest countries, the G7 are the industrialized countries. So therefore, it's very important for us in Ras Khaimah to uh, concentrate, to attract industrial investments here and uh, industry will continue to grow. The RAC Investment uh, Authority have uh, given licenses to more than 120 industries in the last three years and this is uh, very important and interesting uh, for us. The real estate sector is, uh, for me, is, not, uh, is important to support the industry and to support the development, the industrial development and the tourism development. But it is not a sector in itself which is uh, a money maker or generator. You cannot export real estate, you cannot, whereas industry, you can export industry. The tourism is also very important for us because uh, we have 65 kilometers of beautiful coastline and uh, uh, it is, uh, mm, we have to benefit from the boom, the tourism boom which is taking place in the UAE and being close to Europe, it can be a very good destination. So therefore, we have to develop the tourism sector. And I believe that the industrial sector will be growing. These three sectors will grow in the same uh, way and the same level. Mm -hmm. As the head of Ras al Khaimah Investment Authority, how would you describe your role in the development of the Emirates? We, uh, my role in, uh, in Ras al Khaimah Investment Authority, I mean, my role here and uh, our role, all of us in RAC Investment Authority, is to attract industrial and uh, sustainable long term. Uh, investments into Ras al Khaimah. So we, uh, therefore, uh, Rakhia, all our concentration is really attracting investments and the promoting Ras al Khaimah to the outside world to, to tell the story that it is a, it's a place where anybody can invest and will be doing good business here. And we have a lot of good examples of success stories like ceramics, the cement factories, the Gulf pharmaceuticals and other. Mm -hmm. So our aim is to really at attract investments. Then when the investor has come, then the second uh, job of Rakia is uh, to make sure that his life is very easy and to help all the investors to achieve their goal of good profits and uh, good establishment of their businesses. Mm -hmm. So we have land, we are licensing, and we have uh, land which we are leasing, industrial land, and the free zones, industrial zones and the free zones, and even uh, zones for tourism development. All this is uh, our job in Rakia, and uh, we, uh, we have simplified the subject. It is absolutely easy. The investors who are coming here, they will be dealing with one-stop shop, which is Rakia Investment Authority, and everything is simplified and everything is straightforward and clear and very easy. As you mentioned, RAC intends to attract 500 giant companies, or Fortune 500, to invest in its industries and other sectors as a part of its long-term plans. How would you describe your current industrial base? Actually, our aim is to attract as many industries as we can. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know if we will be able to attract 500 but, uh, of the 500 uh, Fortune, but uh, we, we describe Ras al Khaimah as a fertile land for industry. Tell you why, because we have already five cement plants exporting cement here to, of course, UAE and all the Gulf countries. We have a ceramic factory, which in 15 years have been able to become the biggest manufacturer of ceramic tiles in the world. 
exporting 84% of our production to more than 128 countries around the, world, the globe. So, which is a, an excellent performance and achievement. And actually, this gives an example that ceramic products are not necessarily the most luxurious and very heavy, and yet we are able to export to 128 countries. From this extrapolating, we can think that any other industry can be successful here equally or probably better than black ceramics. And from this, uh, we, we think we have a base and example of success stories in industries. And we invite everybody to come and to benefit and to share and to understand what are the reasons and the parameters of the successes so that they can do the same. So it's not like you are focusing mainly on the manufacturing sector, you are also attracting high tech? We want to attract actually not only uh, the building materials, we want to attract industries which are sustainable and long term and not cyclic. Uh, industry, not seasonal uh, industries, so industries which can be produced here and exported around the world. You know, today you have many uh, industrialists in uh, in Europe, in US, and in even uh, Asia. They are thinking where could be a good manufacturing base. A good manufacturing base is not necessarily only a cheap manpower, or not only cheap raw material, or not only cheap energy. It is a combination of everything and the combination also of facility and how easy it is for you to do your business. And Russell Hema, we have combined everything. We have complete freedom to do the business, absolutely free, no corruption, no taxes, one no taxes whatsoever, and you are free to do anything to construct any way your business. You can have manpower from anywhere around the world. It's also a very good point, an important point. And the raw materials, you can import the raw material from anywhere, and the energy is not expensive. So therefore, we have all the parameters to be a place for any type of